Hi, welcome back. This is the part two of the Dazcat Ocean Cruiser Tour. I'm Darren. I'm Luca, and we'll be walking you through our rig design and steering positions. I hope you enjoy. We've opted for a full carbon rig with full synthetic rigging, and a key noticeable feature of this boat is we have gone for a spreaderless design, which we've kind of been running for the last eight years. Yeah. We've built a few of the, the masts now in-house, and we did a, a, a large design study into the windage of the different rig designs. So we've gone with a chimney designed mast. The spar is basically set up on your three points, your two shrouds and your four stay and then that's tension to the equivalent load of hull flying so you don't get slack rigging and then once that's set you pull our unique lower shrouds which set the pre-bend on the mast to the cut of the north 3di sails so you can see on here we've got forward swept blowers so yeah. our, it's, it's pulling that pre-bend into yeah. the mast properly so this creates an incredibly stiff rig and for us, as a long distance cruising boat, we wanted to reduce the amount of potential places for breakage and the long term costs of replacing rigging. There is a choice of having the boom as a standard slab reefing boom with a full mast track system, and this has a square head, fully battened carbon battens in that design, which gives the maximum performance. However, we have had a lot of interest in in-boom furling, and so we are doing an in-boom furling option, which does allow us to automate the process of reefing from either the forward cockpit or the option of the raised helm station. Maximum control, again, is what it's all about. Strength, durability, power, and lightness are all the key elements that we strive for in a rig. So moving into our sail set choices, uh, we've opted for a asymmetric slash code zero running off the end of the bowsprit, um, followed by a, a J0 yep. or Genoa. And a self-tacking jib, all of which can be put on furlers, electric furlers. So again, they can be furled away from any helm position. We can be furled away and sheeted, actually, from any position, any position on the, boat, on the yeah. boat. So, yeah, it's a, it's a really clever bit of kit. A key aspect of that is having that really nice helm feel of a, of a light boat that is really easily controllable. Very yeah. responsive helm and very yeah. controllable, and you can really feel the wind around you and yeah. feel the boat pick up when, it, when you've hit that sweet spot. And dagger boards and all-carbon semi-balanced rudders. Uh, running on a, a cable carbon shaft system so the it's a direct linkage there's no hydraulics so you get feedback on the on each of the helm stations so you can enjoy that process of feeling how the sails are trimmed how the boat feels and sail it efficiently and yeah the steering the pedestal's got canting isn't it yeah we've got a canting pedestal so you can either steer from in front of the chart plotter or steer from in front of the open door which again gives you that nice protection of being in a saloon while still feeling the wind on your face and feeling the conditions that are out there to help you sail the boat to the best of your abilities yeah. in, in those conditions. I, I, I really like the whole concept of the multi-position steering that's been designed uh, where you can have literally a choice depending on your preferences and maybe the, the conditions of, of when you're you're sailing. So when you're kind of champagne sailing, you're going to be up at the back uh, on the raised helm stations, you know, whizzing along at wind speed, doing your 15 knots, wind in your hair, sunshine, fantastic. But when it gets up to sort of 30 knots, it's... Uh, it's a little bit more exposed up there, so being able to retreat to the single level sailing, be that in the forward cockpit or inside, once you're fully reefed down, just looks after your crew, yourself, and you know, because this is a short-handed sailing boat designed for two people to operate, we really want to look after that crew. In this model, we've, we've highlighted all steering positions currently <laughs> all four steering positions yep. are on the boat but they are they are inter like, interchangeable basically you could uh, opt to have all four on or you could mm. just have the aft helm station internal or the front helm station and aft helm station it's all it's all a choice 
Yeah, we couldn't find one group of people that wanted. Uh, <laughs> they all wanted home stations in different places. Everyone <laughs> sails boats differently. Everyone, <laughs> everyone likes to sail boats differently. So it's just giving that variety for everyone's different sailing needs. Yeah, it's a choice.